My friend Wolverine tells me... Who are you? I am Pyotr Nikolaevich Rasputin, or simply Peter Rasputin, as my English-speaking friends call me. From your accent, I take it you're Russian. Da! There is no greater country or more beautiful land on this earth. Ah, how I love the splendor of Mother Russia. You almost sound like a poet. Me? A poet? Yet. But I do love to paint. It is a passion of mine. How were you able to hold up that regulator back at the nuclear plant? I am able to transform my body. Wow. <laughs> Perhaps. I'm very sorry to hear about your sister's illness. I too am sorry, but I re- Take care, Colossus. Thank you, Allison. I know it was you, Alex. What have you gotten yourself into? Look, all I ask is that you meet me. You couldn't have picked a worse time. Scott, you really need to see this for yourself. Then you'll understand. I don't know. I need to... Hope to see you there, Scott. I've gotta go. Bye. Bye, Alex. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You didn't. If you don't mind my asking, who was that? Someone who needs a swift kick. Hi, Meg. Nice workshop you have. Thanks. I use it to build any new equipment. The weirdest. I'll come back later, Forge. See you then. Hey, you. Uh, don't be afraid. Would you mind talking to me a little while? You wouldn't by any chance be a mutant, would you? Sure am. I'm Jamie Madrix, a.k.a. Multiple Man. But floating here, I feel more like Lilypad Man. <laughs> Very funny. What's your mutant power? 
duplicates of me are created whenever my body experiences any sort of impact. Even something as... Why are you floating in that vat? Uh, this is a liptide bath. I'm soaking in... So you have trouble controlling your powers too? Hey, who doesn't every once in a while? We're mutants. You fought the Brotherhood? Yeah, well, I had some help from Forge and Moira, but, uh, yeah, I fought them. They did a lot of damage to the facility. Forge is still trying to sort things out. Bye. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks. I, uh, I'm feeling better already. Hello, up. What is this? Uh, honest. What's an X gene? The s I. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Hello. From your accent. Da. Take care, Colossus. Thank you. Uh Hi, man. Nice work, Chef. Thanks. The weirdest mute. Are you having trouble? With nope. I'll come back later, Forge. See you then. Hello, Alice. Who are you? I am. I do. Take care, Colossus. Thank you.
Fine. Are you having trouble with... Nope. Nice work. Thanks. That's... The weirdest mutant. I'll come back later, Forge. See... Hello. Take care, Colossus. Thank you, Allison. Thank goodness you're back. I was... You wouldn't by any chance be a... Dupe. Hey. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Are you Dr. Moira McTaggart? I that I what I believe it What is this place? This is how'd you Charles and What uh what the I Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. I can't move in that direction. I'm... Nice. Thanks. The... Nice work. Thanks. The we... Nice workshop you have here. That... The weirdest... I'll come back later. See you then.
Okay, Moira. I've finished downloading the program. How do things look? That's done it, Forge. Ileana's life signs are stabilizing. Your talents truly are a gift from heaven. I couldn't have done it without Allison. She's the hero. Well then, I thank you, Allison. You saved Ileana's life. Anyone could have done it. Nonsense. You deserve to be congratulated. Thanks. X-Men, meet at the X-Jet. Now. It's time we left for the mansion, people. Colossus, you're welcome to join us. Since Dr. McTaggart... We got back from Muir Island a little while ago. Somehow my troubles with the Brotherhood really don't seem important compared to what poor Ileana's going through. I hope Dr. McTaggart and Professor Xavier can help her. Hello, dear. You must be new to the school. Yes, my name is Allison Cressmere. How delightful. I'll bet all the boys are chasing after a pretty girl like you. Ah, uh, men. They're so easy to own. Allison, I'd like to introduce you to Emma Frost, also known as the White Queen. She has immense psychic talents. Charles, my sweet. You're looking more handsome every day. And you, Emma, are equal parts beauty and chaos. Such a smooth talker. You could charm a girl right out of her. Thank you for coming to the mansion so promptly. I am in dire need of your talents. Not to worry, Charles. Auntie Emma will make it all better. You see, Allison? Men are so easy. Much like the boy you're interested in. Bobby Drake? Hello, Allison. How's that boy you have your eye on? Bobby Drake? 
Who are you? My name is Emma Frost, but I'm also known as the White... Aren't you a telepath? Yes. How long have you been an X-Man? I'm not. Being a permanent part of a group is much too confining. I prefer to come and go as I please. That way I'm not bound by the X-Men's rather prudish code of ethics. How did you know about Bobby? It's amazing the things you learned. I thought telepaths weren't supposed to read minds unless they were given permission. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? What's this astral plane that Professor Xavier was talking about? The astral plane is a dimension of existence bordering on the edge of thought. It's based entirely on metaphor. So, a person who needs emotional protection? Sounds very weird. Think of it as a dream, where everything has an alternate and deeper meaning. Good luck on your mission. Be sure to keep an eye on the professor. My dear, I always keep both eyes on Charles. Guten What are you up to? I am lending Cyclops a hand. What search? We are trying to discover how Mystique knew to go to the Harp facility to find the location of Magneto's prison. Oh, right. That's how the Brotherhood knew he was on the Arbiter. Are you having any luck in your search? Yeah. This would try the patience of Job. But we uncovered one intriguing bit of information. And that would be? Someone in the military has been leaking information to the Brotherhood. But the military distrusts mutants as much as anyone else. Indeed. And that is exactly what makes this information so intriguing. See you later, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen, Allison.
Was ist los, Beast? Why call such a mysterious meeting, huh? I apologize for the cryptic message, but I fear we are about to come under attack from cloaked invaders. What? How do you know? Normally, I never would have detected them, but their variant covalence bands were interfering with an experiment dealing with hyperbolic... If there's a point, Beast, you should be getting to it. As you wish, Wolverine. I've discovered someone is attempting to access the Xavier Protocols. Those contain information on every known mutant in the world. If they fell into the wrong hands, no mutant would be safe. Any idea who's doing it, Beast? Anyone attempting to infiltrate our network would have to be nearby. But I've scanned the mansion grounds and can't detect anyone. Therefore, it seems reasonable to assume our unwanted guests are cloaked. Now it makes sense. For the past half hour, I've been catching thoughts from minds that I've never encountered before. Jean, do you think you can pinpoint where these thoughts are coming from? Yes, but I can only locate one mind at a time. That's all we'll need. All right, team, let's get out there and pay close attention to Jean's instructions. Colossus Emma Frost Magma Rogue
I can sense them nearby. Right here. You're going down! Heads up! Now I'm really ready to fire it up! Got Let's see what you got. See you next time. Right here. You're going down! Combo! I don't have enough power. If you insist. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Guess you didn't want a piece of me. We both know how this fight's gonna turn out. Combo! As you wish. Okay. Right here. Oh, I bet that hurt. Combo! 
Here's one here. Here's one. Found another. Time you freaks learned a lesson! Here's one. Found another. I don't have enough energy. You ain't getting enough. Those Gerso soldiers had some of the most... Yes. This is most disconcerting. Okay, Beast, you got the gear. Now tell us where their home base is, so we can clean it out. Just one moment. All I have to do is reconfigure the transmitter and triangulate the beacon signal. Voila! Now we can ascertain who our invisible friends were communicating with. Canada. What is this? I do not know this place. That facility once belonged to the Canadian government. It's where the Weapon X project was carried out many years ago. Professor, wasn't Logan a victim of Weapon X? Indeed, which is precisely why Logan has already left.
Allison, I can't help but notice you've been extra. I'm worried about Ileana. That's very kind of you. I'm sure Peter... I wish there was something I could do to help. Allison, the more I get to know you, the more I'm convinced you were an X-Man before you even came to the mansion. What do you mean I was already an X-Man? Your concern for the welfare of others, even those you don't know, is exactly how the X-Men feel. Much like you, they are willing to go to any lengths to help those in need. Will Dr. McTaggart be able to save her? Moira is an extremely gifted scientist. And don't forget that Charles Xavier is also on the case. Not to worry, young lady. Ileana couldn't be in better hands. Thanks, Beast. You're the greatest. <laughs> I wouldn't debate that point with you at all, my friend. Attention X-Men, report. I call this meeting to inform you that several of us will be taking a trip to the astral plane shortly. Several? But Charles, I only see you and Jean. I will be joining them. Cool! The White Queen is here! It figures they'd call in another super telepath to join the group. But what is the astral plane? It's a dimension of the mind. One where thoughts become reality. Why are you going to the astral plane, Professor? I'll let Moira answer that question. X-Men, I believe we've discovered the cause of Ileana's coma. You have? Tell me, Doctor, quickly! Her mind no longer inhabits her body, Colossus. We believe Ileana is on the astral plane. But she has no psychic powers. How can this be? I agree, Colossus. It is very strange indeed. And that is the reason Jean, Emma, and I are going to investigate... I can feel Ileana's mind. Me too. This doesn't make sense. How could a non-telepathic mutant become trapped on the astral plane? I don't know, but be vigilant, my friends.
Yes. Professor, what are those? I'm not certain, but apparently they meet. Good. I'm in the.
Very well. Okay. As you wish. Okay.
Better luck next time. Better luck next time. <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> I'm back. Bravely. Yes. Wait here, I'll be back shortly.
Wait here. I'll be back shortly. I could use some help. Let's get going, shall we? Stay here. I'll return shortly. Perhaps you should have tried harder. It's not whom I suspect. <laughs> Quickly, that portal will take you to Iliana. We're not leaving without you, Professor. Don't be a fool, girl. We must escape. Get out. Show yourself, Shadow King. I know it's you. Hello, Xavier. I'm impressed you remember me. I'd never forget the true face of evil. <laughs> I have to give him credit. The brat Ileana served her purpose. Give who credit? Someone told you to kidnap Ileana? No one would dare give an order to Shadow King. I was advised that stealing the child would lure you into my world. And here you are. What do you intend to do now? I should have thought it obvious, Xavier. I will have my revenge.
be a sin here this time. Hmm, I thought you were tougher than that. Tougher than that. Next time. Serious trouble here. I feel reborn. Score one for the pick. 